everyone. On behalf of the travel professional community and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar. My name is Sandy Elson and I'm very excited to have all of you here. We have a really special presentation for you today all about Cruise World, Career Advancement Opportunity, Complements of Travel Weekly. We have several fantastic speakers today, including Alicia Ivanko-Lewis, Vice President Events for North Star Travel Media, Jennifer Cruz, Enrichment Program Consultant for Travel Weekly, and Mary Pat Sullivan, CTC, President Sullivan Marketing Advisors. We will also be hearing from our very own Joni Og, CTC, MCC, President of Joni Og Marketing Group, and the First Lady of our Travel Professional Community, or sometimes we like to call her the Queen. Joni and her husband, Tom Og, are co-owners of HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, as well as Travel Professional Community. Before we get started, a reminder that we welcome your questions. You can type in your question at any time during the presentation in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. When the speakers are finished with their presentation, we will get to as many questions as we can. So now I'm going to hand the microphone over to Joni, and I will be back a little bit later. Hi, Joni. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, I'm saying hi from what is rather hot and quite humid, but still always beautiful, Punta de Mita in Riviera Nayarit, where I am today. I really appreciate all of you taking the time to be here with us. I'm not going to take much time because I just, um, I'm, I'm not the guru when it comes to the webinars. Uh, Sandy Elson is absolutely wonderful at doing this. So she's far better at me and managing it. So she's going to take this over and hand it back to our other speakers. I just wanted to pop in and say hi before we begin. And I wanted to tell you how much I am looking forward to seeing all of you at Cruise World in November. Sandy? Thanks a lot, Joni. Great to hear from you. So I'm going to hand the microphone over now to Mary Pat Sullivan so she can get started. Hi, Mary Pat. Hey, Sandy. How are you? I love Great. when you refer to Joni as the first lady. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> you guys are my favorites. You know it. I'm a huge fan of this community, one of the most active and engaging communities in the business. And Joni was a huge, huge help to us when we um, at Travel Weekly took over and launched Cruise World several years ago. And the home-based uh, agent community, the travel professional community, was a huge part of it, continues to be so. So we're really happy to be here with all of you guys doing this webinar here with you today. So we're excited about that. And I am going to come back and speak soon, but what I want to do first is turn the stage over to my colleague and friend, Alicia, and ask her to share some of the specifics with you on Travel Weekly and Cruise World. So Alicia, welcome to the stage. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited to have the opportunity to give you some more information on Cruise World and our new hosted agent program. Excuse me. Just, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Cruise World and the Hosted Agent Program, and then my colleague Jennifer will go into the specifics. So Cruise World brings together a diverse group of travel agents to meet with travel suppliers from all segments of the travel industry. So it's not just cruise lines. There's hotels, there's tour operators, there's destinations, technology providers, consortias, host agencies. It really represents all facets of the travel industry. This year, we're making a huge investment in the advancement of travel agents and the continued growth of the industry through our hosted agent program. We will be bringing in over 300 pre-qualified travel agents from North America. And when I say hosted, that means that we will be uh, providing hotel accommodations for the travel agents and it's complimentary reg registration for those who are selected into the program. To date, we've received over 700 applications. Jennifer, who you'll hear from next, will give you the specifics of um, how you can be selected and what you need to do to apply. Travel agents who are accepted into the hosted program, they represent diverse experience, diverse experience levels. We, the, the program will include industry veterans as well as newcomers, top producers, future go-getters, home-based and traditional agency professionals. So right now we're over 70% filled. Our application deadline is September 17th. So we hope that you'll apply to join us. If you're not accepted into the hosted agent program or you choose not to be a part of it, you can certainly register for Cruise World um, just as an attendee. So that being said, I'm gonna hand it over to my friend and colleague, Jennifer Cruzy. 
so much, Alicia, and thank you to Joni and Sandy for hosting us today. Uh, as Alicia said, the hosted agent program this year at Cruise World is really exciting and really unique, and I thought the best way to detail the program components and the benefits was to break it down into a who, what, when, where, why scenario. So starting with the who, who is the Cruise World hosted agent? First, he or she is a full-time seller of travel. While the program, as Alicia states, is designed to include agents who work in different business models, agents who focus on a variety of specialties, and agents who have a, a varied level of ex experience, the agents included in the program will be completely engaged in the business of selling travel. Hosted agents will also be committed to growing or refining their client base, increasing revenue streams, and seeking out the marketing strategies to achieve those goals. Essentially, what we're looking to include are agents who are driven toward forward and upward motion, agents who really want to take things to the next level, and who are enthusiastic to explore ways to make that happen. Most importantly, um, from my perspective, uh, the hosted agents who will be selected um, will recognize the value of relationships in this industry and who are looking to cultivate new partnerships and explore opportunities for growth. Relationships are so very important in business and in our industry in particular, and connecting agents with supportive industry partners is a, if not the, primary mission of this year's hosted agent program at Cruise World. So that brings us on to what. What exactly is the Cruise World hosted agent program? The program itself is what I see as an enhanced Cruise World experience. Uh, agents accepted into the program will receive, like Alicia stated, complimentary registration and full access to all event programming, which Mary Pat will fully detail in just a few minutes. Hosted agents will be able to attend their choice of sessions and workshops and also have access to optional ship inspection opportunities following the event on Saturday and Sunday. Hosted agents will also receive hotel accommodations on November 5th and 6th. So to fully immerse in the, you know, what I'm calling enhanced cruise world experience and to maximize both supplier and peer networking opportunities, which are both so valuable. I know I'm a little out of order with my bullet points, but I wanted to save the best for last. Um, and hosted agents will also be provided with a personalized schedule of appointments to meet one-on-one -on -one with industry partners who are looking to support growth and development and ultimately greater success for all the parties involved. That in a very small nutshell is this year's cruise world hosted agent program. So the where and the when. Cruise World will take place from November 5th through 7th with optional ship inspection opportunities offered on the 8th and the 9th. All Cruise World programming will take place at the Greater Fort Lauderdale Broward County Convention Center in sunny, hopefully sunny that week, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, there are three local upscale hotels being used to accommodate our hosted agents with a, complimentar a complimentary night offered on the 5th and the 6th, and each agent will be assigned to one of these three hotels upon confirmation into the program. The hotels, as you can see, are the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina, the Sheridan Fort Lauderdale Beach, and the Westin uh, Beach Resort and Spa. Daily shuttle service from all three of these hotels back and forth to the convention center will be provided for convenience. So that brings us on to finally why, why the hosted agent program. And I prefer to ask the question, why not? I mean, the hosted agent program offers the opportunity to attend Cruise World in an enhanced capacity for little to no out-of-pocket investment. Um, over, over the past few years, we've been kind of beta testing and refining the hosted agent concept to be prepared to deliver a program on this scale that offers maximum value to those selected to participate, and that is what this year's program will do. On screen, you will see, um, you will see, I'm just checking to make sure we see, <laughs> what a few of the hosted agents from last year had to say about the program. Um, how participating has impacted their business, their sales, and their motivation to excel. I uh, hope to see all of those attending today's webinar apply for the program. And I didn't include in the PowerPoint here is how to apply. So what you would do would be go directly to the event website, www.cruiseworldshow.com, and there is a link to the Hosted Agent Program application right on the homepage. Mm -hmm. So with that, I think I'm going to turn things back over to my friend Mary Pat Sullivan, who has designed a fabulous program with spectacular content for this year's, this year's Cruise World. Mary Pat? Thanks, Jen. I need PR. I appreciate your support. Thank you. No, Jen, that was oh, great. I mean, you can hear your enthusiasm. Jen's been involved with us first as an agent participant, then as a speaker, because be careful, folks, when I get to know you, I pull you in, and it can be ugly. And now as a part of our team, a really important part of our team, to build this hosted agent program and to vet the agents and get everyone engaged, and she's done a phenomenal job. So as you go along in this process, you're going to get to know Jen really well if you don't know her already. And, and that was a great overview of the hosted agent program. And so now what I'm going to do is take you through the, the basic cruise world day by day. Um, look at 
to Jen's point, the when, the where, the why, the who, all that good stuff. And just so you guys know, we work very closely with the Fort Lauderdale, Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention and Visitors Bureau, and they have assured us sunny weather, Jen, so there's nothing to worry about. I'm sure we, you know, they're partners of ours, and it'll be beautiful when we're there, but you have to be inside working most of the time. Okay, so we're going to go through now are the event dates. Jen's gone through some of this, the location, who comes, some of the speakers. We'll take you through it day by day, and then we'll take some questions because I know this, this is an engaged crowd, and they will have questions. So as Jen said, November 5th to 7th, our exhibitor showcase is on November 6th. Something unique about Cruise World, we only have a one-day trade show, okay? And we, anybody that comes, we ask your commitment. Walk that trade show floor. Get involved with those exhibitors. These guys are spending money because they want to meet you. But it's always tough to get that trade show floor filled and to keep everybody engaged. And two days is often a trouble for people's schedules. So one-day trade show has worked beautifully for us. We launched it last year. Both suppliers and the agents were very supportive of the idea. It went really, really well. So we have a one-day exhibitor showcase on November 6th. We also have ship inspections, as Jen mentioned, November 8th and 9th. And as we go through, I'll give you all the specifics on the ship inspections. And um, the location, as Jen said, Greater Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Convention Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, right near the Hilton. And the official housing block is the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina. So as we look at this, obviously some great images from our um, – Previous events, this is last year. The staging looked phenomenal last year, guys. you got to come and join us. You see the crowd here waiting to get in, anxiously awaiting the entrance to the exhibit hall. We hope that all of you are among that crowd. Maybe you see yourselves in the picture right now. Um, it's an engaging trade show floor exhibit showcase. We have um, all of the, the suppliers that are participating are listed on our website. We'll give you all the access to how to find them. And, you know, Jen went through the hosted agent program. But in addition, we've already had hundreds of your colleagues register as traditional trade show attendees. So that's certainly an option for all of you. If you don't want to be part of the hosted agent program, it does have some requirements. You know, you are required to attend each of the day's events. You are required to attend scheduled appointments with the suppliers. So if you want to do something a little bit more flexible, have a little more control of your own time, there are many of your colleagues, like I said, already several hundred that have registered as traditional attendees, and we certainly welcome that as well. So. Before we get on with the program here, there is a Cruise World bonus at the end of this session, a little daily double as we're calling it. Um, there will be a question presented at the end of the webinar about the content we're about to discuss. So pay attention. I've worked hard on this. The first 10 attendees who answer correctly will receive free registration to Cruise World. So that's a significant $125 value for any of you that answer these questions correctly, the first 10, and Sandy will have the joy of figuring out the first 10 that get it right. So here's our first point of, of note here. This is really important to take into consideration. These folks come, take their time, step on the stage to talk to you because each of these gentlemen know how important your business is to their companies. The cruise lines need your business. They know it. And they want to talk to you as colleagues. You know, I like to look at these CEO presentations where Arnie will sit with each of our CEO attendees, Adam Goldstein from Royal Caribbean, Arnold Donald from Carnival Cruise Lines, and Kevin Sheehan from Norwegian and Carnival Corporation, excuse me. Each of these gentlemen will sit on the stage with Arnie. They'll give a 15-minute presentation and then have a Q&A with Arnie where he is going to pose to them questions that come from what you guys need to know about running your business. And it's really important to hear from the leadership in the industry and find out the direction and what, what's happening next. So you'll have a chance to hear from each one of these gentlemen, each one on a different day during our three days of content programming. The first general session on Wednesday, opening day of general session, really important to many of you on the line, I'm sure. Um, we have five of your host agency partner organizations and franchise organizations taking the stage. And actually, when you look at this slide, you see we have Cruise One and Cruises Inc., Nexion, Cruise Planners, American Express, GIFT, the Global Institute for Travel Entrepreneurs, and Avoya Travel, which is an American Express representative network. What you need to know here, Gary Smith is up here as a sample. It's important to me that we put your colleagues on the stage. So each one of these organizations will have a member of their organization up there on the stage with them, an active selling travel professional who's used one of these organizations to succeed. So each of these folks will get up there and kind of give you a feel for what the business model is. And I know for all of you on the line here today, extremely important as you grow your business, you may need to change your business model. You may need to make an adjustment. Maybe you don't have a partnership now with a host agency. So what we want them to do, get up and tell a little of their story, but then we want one of their successful sellers up on the stage to say why that model worked for them. This isn't to say why another model didn't. It's to say why this one is right for me. And our goal here is that you guys can hear in those stories 
yourself. Maybe you see yourself on the stage in one of your colleagues. So Gary's one of the speakers that will be joining, and he'll be joining Debbie Fiorino from Cruise One and Cruises, Inc. Each of these folks has picked a, an agent attendee. I know for a fact Jackie Friedman just confirmed hers, and it will be Deb Fogarty, who's a friend of ours and also a member of the speakers, uh, travel agent speakers that will be speaking on Friday. So Deb will be joining the general session stage. And she's a real Cruise World um, veteran as well. And uh, so we're happy to have Jen, uh, Deb join the stage this year on um, general session. So each of them will be giving us their um, participating agents, and it will all be up on the website for you guys to see. The next uh, general sessions panel that I wanted to talk about is the President's Panel. At this point, confirmed already, is Michael Bailey, the President and CEO of Celebrity Cruises. Edie Rodriguez now, who is the CEO and President of Crystal Cruises. And Rick Sasso, President of MSC Cruises USA. All these guys have a lot of exciting news happening in their companies this year. This session will be on Friday in the morning, and uh, we may be adding to this. So keep, keep your eyes peeled to the, uh, to the conference programming to see who else joins us. And then we get to mine and Joni's favorite moment of the Cruise World Week. This year, this panel has grown. So for any of you that may be Cruise World veterans, this is a lot of fun, but it's also a chance for you guys to really get to know and be comfortable with the leadership on the sales and marketing side of the cruise industry and the hotel and, and resort industry because we have one of my colleagues, Chris Austin, also joining this panel. These folks will be up on that stage. There's eight of them. Joni and I take either side of that stage and have some fun with them. You guys get to know them. These guys are the masterminds in sales and marketing in our business. They're the ones that you all deal with on a regular basis in terms of how they build the travel agency programs, how they work with the travel agency community, why these companies continue to invest so significantly in the travel professional community. It's because they know you bring the highest paying customer, the longest staying customer, the loyal customer. So that's why these guys want to talk to you. I promise you, if you come to Cruise World, you're going to have fun with this session. You're going to learn to feel like you know these guys personally if you don't already. And this will be Thursday morning. Exhibitors. What exhibitors join us? As uh, Alicia said in the beginning, this is certainly not just a cruise show. Obviously, all the major cruise lines, as you saw from the previous slide, are with us there. We also have airlines, attractions, business tools and services, website companies, technology companies, whatever kind of companies that you may need services for, car rental companies, destinations. Huge part of this in, in, um, exhibit showcase as well because obviously – Many times you sell a cruise and the customer goes there once and then they want to go back to that destination. So we have many destinations on the trade show floor as well. Hotel and resort companies, professional services such as your host agencies and, and uh, franchise organizations, consortia among the uh, exhibit showcase. Tour operators and package vacations, huge, huge part of the business that all of you sell. So these guys will all be there to meet with you personally. Significant number of sponsors. These guys stepped up and helped us launch Cruise World, stay with Cruise World. They see the value in it. We appreciate the partnership, so we want to recognize all of them. You'll see their signage and their information throughout the trade show and the, and the three days of conference programming. So here we go, folks. Here's what's happening for Cruise World this year. What are we doing? Day one, certification programs. This is something new that we've added this year. So what we decided to do, we have CLIA training in the morning. Two brand new sessions that CLIA just launched this year. So um, two brand new CLIA training sessions, hour-long sessions that CLIA now does, 10 credits apiece. So you can take both of them, walk away with 20 CLIA credits as you're working towards your ACC, MCC, or ECC. Um, VAC Vacation Access will be doing a session also in the morning on Wednesday. Great tool, as many of you know, and this will be training you on how to use the tool, what, what opportunities there are to grow your business through the VAX tool. And then what we added this year is Travel Weekly's Reader's Choice Training. So every year, Travel Weekly does the Reader's Choice Awards, and many of you vote in that Reader's Choice programming every year. And those awards are recognized, these suppliers are recognized because you folks told Travel Weekly they're the best in the business. So we decided, let's, let's you know, prove this to everyone. Let's bring the top nominated companies that were the finalists in the, in the um, Reader's Choice Training directly to you guys so you can learn about these programs. So we will have Starwood Pro, NCL University, and MLT University all represented on Wednesday afternoon. There will be repeated sessions, so you don't have to just go to one. You can go to both of them or two out of the three. And then on Friday, Princess Cruises will be pre presenting at the end of the programming. Princess can't present on Wednesday because they are launching the Regal, which many of you may have heard. So they're joining us on Friday. Princess was the winner of the Reader's Choice program this year, so they'll be joining us on Friday. And then we have um, general session, as we talked about. Arnold Donald is our first CEO. He will be speaking on Wednesday. Then the My Best Business Decision panel, which we showed you earlier with your host agency organizations. 
And then Vicky and Dondra, always fun, always, always fun and always entertaining, but always has the support of the industry whenever they speak and when, whatever they do for this business. So they're going to be closing out our general session and then joining us this year for the Think Tank, something new and different. So Joni and I will be partnering with Vicky and Dondra at the Think Tank. If any of you have not been to Cruise World before, and I'm sure we got some newbies on the line, I recommend highly that you carve out the time to come with us to the Think Tank. This is a chance for you to chat, you to talk, you to tell us what works for you, ask questions of your peers. It's a very engaging, dynamic, uh, hour-long session and tends to go over the hour, but we'd love to have you with us. Joni and I have so much fun, but we work really hard during that, and we learn a lot about what works in this business. So, Day two, supplier sessions and the exhibitor showcase. So we consider day two kind of your shopping day. So if in day one you're kind of making decisions on your business, day two, you're going shopping. You're going to have banks of supplier training workshops in the morning. You can see them all listed here, Carnival, New York City, Vacation Packages, Uniworld, Visit Anchorage, Avoya Travel, Carnival Cruise Lines, Globus Family of Brands. And then we will have Arnie's opening general session that day with Adam Goldstein. The keynote presentation is our SVPs and sales and marketing geniuses, as we mentioned. And then the, the trade show floor opens. So you'll have four hours to do your trade show shopping, get engaged on the floor. If you're in the hosted agent program, you're going to have appointments with various suppliers that you may have requested. And then we end the session with cocktails on the trade show floor. Not much better thing to do than to end the night of hard work with a few cocktails and to celebrate together, courtesy of Great Fort Lauderdale Convention and Visitors Bureau. Now we get to day three. This, my friends, is all about you. Many of the people I've met in this community are among the smartest travel professionals in the business. And on Friday, you're going to learn from your peers. Just two photos here. There's many. There's 16, almost 20 um, travel professional colleagues that will be taking the stage, either in a breakout session or in the general session stage, so that you can hear from them how they made their businesses successful. But I know for a fact that Jeff and Craig are both active participants in this community. So they're here. Their smiling faces are here to remind you that they will be taking the stage to share some of their success stories with you. So all the training on, sat on Friday is peer-to-peer -peer training. We're going to have panels in the morning, breakout panels in the morning. The first one is on business evolution, change, and growth. These agents will be talking to you about what they did along the way to change their businesses. So that if you're new to the business, you're a couple of years in, you're wondering what's going to happen next, you might hear the stories of these folks and say, oh, cool. Or if you're 10 years in, 15 years in, and you don't know quite what you want to do next, there's probably going to be somebody on that panel who's made a completely different turnaround. New, new decision for their business. Social media success stories. We're going to look at Pinterest. We're going to look at Facebook. We're going to look at Twitter. We're going to look at LinkedIn. How are your colleagues using those effectively and actually making money with them? Negotiating and drafting cruise charter and group contracts. That is actually being, um, being taught by Mark Pestronk, who's one of the best attorneys in the business. And Mark works with all of your peers on a regular basis, helping them to develop contracts. And so this is a, a little bit more senior uh, session for those of you that may need some help as you grow your group business, Mark's a phenomenal attorney and great resource for us to have. <clears throat> the last one, The Art of Closing the Sale, Scott Keff from Avoya, long, long time industry executive, great sales guy. He can sell you pretty much anything. He'll be teaching The Art of Closing the Sale. The second bank is of peer-to-peer -peer sessions, make your niche work. This is really cool. We have a, a group of different travel professionals on that panel who have very, very unique niches. Trust me when I say that. And some of them are going to be talking to you about what they do to grow their business beyond their niche, and some of them are going to be talking to you about what they do to just focus on their niche. So all of the names of your um, fellow colleagues that will be on that panel are on the website. I'm going to direct you to that in a little while. You can see what different topics are on there. Selling travel and transitioning your career. This is going to be interesting. This is for folks. I love this, too, and I don't know if Carol Rowland's on the line. She's one of our speakers. She's the motivation behind this panel. Um, and Carol was a full-time, long-time executive within a Fortune 500 company and uh, just kind of got the travel bug and went part-time and now is full-time and a multi-million dollar seller in a very, very short period of time. So the people on that panel are going to talk to you about how they went from one industry to another, really transitioned their career, and were successful in now selling travel. And we've seen it in our industry. There's so many people who are in transition careers, and we welcome you, all of you, because our business needs that new blood and excitement from other industries. Expanding your product mix to earn more commissions, that is a sponsored session by Cruise Planners, one of your peer organizations. And um, Cruise Planners will actually be bringing some of their wholesale partners with us this year because, as many of you know, Cruise isn't everything that you sell. And Cruise Planners has gotten stronger and stronger in the land side of the business, 
So they're going to put some of their tour and wholesaler partners up on the stage and talk about how agencies can transition and grow the land portion of their business. And the last session, how to market your profession, how important is that? We all need to learn how to better market our profession. In that session, Jason Coleman is going to take research that's been done throughout the industry and try and help the agents in the room. And Jason is a very successful peer of all of yours from the West Coast. How to take that research and use it to tell your customers a strong story about why they should buy from you. And then we have lunch with Andy Stewart. There's nothing better than having lunch with Andy Stewart. We'll all love that. It'll be a wonderful session from Norwegian Cruise Line. The afternoon is more peer-to-peer -peer sessions, creatively marketing to today's customers, discovering how your peers achieved money-making money marketing, money marketing success. That's my friend Joni. That's going to be a great session. There's some new information coming out, Joni and Tom, who are among the most prolific and successful writers in this business. Um, and Joni and Tom are going to let you guys in on some of their secrets, what they've learned over the years from you folks, from the most successful travel agents in the business. And um, that session is described on the, on the uh, website as well. And I'm really thrilled that they're debuting this with us at Cruise World this year. So we thank them for that. Um, and then we have Facebook groups, which is another really dynamic and developing segment of marketing in this business. I've seen some really cool things happen there. And then legal necessities for your travel business. That is Mark Pestrunk again. And in that session, it's going to be a little bit more um, the basics, what you really need to be doing to protect yourself and your business, to protect your customers. So it's kind of a how to be sure you're legally sound as a business. Um, and then the last session is branding yourself. So important. We all believe that. Cultivating your complementary niche. This is a follow-up, and Elizabeth is up here on the screen for this. Elizabeth is, is uh, hosting that session. Elizabeth's specialty is Disney. And she said, you know, she realized she was turning business away, and you have to figure out how to expand and grow your business behind, beyond one specialty. So she's going to be leading that session. And we have the Princess Academy session. Folks, there's still a lot of opportunity here. I may still be adding one or two sessions, so keep your eyes open, and, and uh, don't be surprised if a few more things show up on the screen in the next, uh, in the next few weeks. Ship inspections. November 8th and 9th, we have a series of ship inspections. Uh, I would recommend that if you're going to join us and you want to do some ship inspections, you register soon and get yourself involved. As you can see at the bottom of this slide, the Disney ship inspection is already sold out. Many of them are nearing capacity, so we would love to see you guys all get the opportunity. We know how important it is for you to see these ships and to uh, experience them so that you can share the information with your customers. We've had some agents over the uh, last couple of years do some great virtual ship inspections while they're on board take some pictures, show some video, post it on their Facebook page while they're there. Smart, smart thing to do because then when you get home, your customers can say, you were just on that ship, I want to be on that ship. So we hope that many of you take advantage of this opportunity, and we're obviously very grateful to the cruise lines for giving the opportunity to all of us. You can see the Davina is on there. Kind of a big deal to offer a Davina uh, ship inspection. Um, so we're thrilled to have that added to the list this year. And all the cruise lines have given us some great product for you guys to see. So we thank them for that. So here's the details, folks. Early bird registration expires next week. So, oh my goodness, next week is August 31st. The summer's almost over. You have 10 days left to save, 15%. Remember that if you apply for the hosted agent program, uh, that you can uh, earn free registration and free hotel. And if you decide you want to come through the traditional registration program, you can save 15% through August 31st. And a reminder that the hosted agent program application deadline is September 17th. We really need to set the deadline for that, folks, because we have to complete the housing. So it's very, very important, and we'll probably fill out before that September 17th deadline. So I recommend, if you're interested, that you apply. There's the web address that one of my colleagues referred to before, I believe Jen did, cruiseworldshow.com. On there, you can read all the specifics on each of the breakout sessions I described, the general sessions I described, the ship inspections in full detail. Um, you can, read, you can see profiles of all of our speakers, all of your colleagues from the peer-to-peer -peer training. As I said, there's about 20 of them taking the stage. That's important to me. So you can check out all of our speakers, read their bios. Um, and, you know, if you see something there and you want to share it with us or you want to recommend some other additions, please, please do. I, I, I like to believe this is a living, breathing product, Cruise World. <clears throat> so I think we're going to take some questions, and then we'll come back. And this is, we're going to come back and talk a little bit about Facebook at the end. But let's take some questions now, Sandy. Are you on the line? Are we ready for some questions? Okay, I am, and uh, that is a fan this meeting sounds so fantastic. And to everyone who's listening to this call, I've been to Cruise World. It really is the premier meeting for cruise selling travel agents. They have a lot of high power people speaking, plus our own 
fellow travel agents who've been successful. So uh, I, I really can't say enough about Cruise World. So that's thank um, you. That's my experience. We do have some questions. We've had several questions about the hosted agent program, uh, centering around if uh, agents apply, about how long does it take to hear back, and what if they're waiting to hear and the early booking deadline passes. Okay. Well, I think we, um, I'm not sure that we can give a specific time frame for when you can hear back. I'm going to let Jen answer that. But in terms of if the early booking bonus um, expires, I, I think it's pretty safe to say that if you're applying for the hosted agent program and you um, find out that you didn't qualify by the time the, uh, the early bird expires, I think we can extend that. So, Alicia, I'm making a, an executive Absolutely. decision. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mary Pat. I love when I make executive decisions and Alicia's on the spot and has to say yes. Um, and Jen, what would you say in terms of um, time frame about? Because I know that the volume can be sometimes very high for you. So what do you think well, in terms of time frame? Well, hopefully after this webinar, the volume of in incoming um, applications will be uh, staggering. But what I can say is um, of all these 700 plus applications, each and every one of them has been touched in some capacity. So the timeline of actually turning around whether you are accepted or not accepted can be dependent on a lot of factors, whether I reach out to you for additional information or if the reference you provide takes longer than um, others to reply and I have to request you know, information twice. So it's really dependent on the application. So my recommendation would be of course, when you're providing a reference, as always, make sure you check with that reference first. <laughs> make sure Good it's point. okay, and if they're expecting um, expecting a, an email, you know, inquiry or a telephone call from Cruise World or Travel Weekly. But you know, like I said, everybody, just about everybody to date has been touched and will has been either notified or they are in process to some degree of the application. So it's, it's hard to it's hard to gauge. I mean, sometimes it's a day. You know, sometimes right. it's a day between application and acceptance, and then sometimes, like I said, you know, two weeks goes by, I have to request you know a reference again. So it's really based on the individual. So I think if you do your due diligence, provide as much information as possible within the application process because we have fields there for you to tell us all about yourself and about what your business goals are. And you know, most importantly, we didn't really highlight before, but each and every application is evaluated individually. So you know, we are including a, a broad demographic of agents in the program. Put as much information in that application as possible so we can figure out who you are, if you are a good fit for this program. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that, Jen. And before we get to the next question, I, I, I think it's important for you guys to understand how much effort we've put into the qualification process, into the thought process of how we bring a diverse audience to this event, and how we continue to help the travel supplier community find the best and brightest in the business. And we don't want them all to be the 20-year vets with $2 million book of business. We love those guys, and we want you there. But we also want to recognize the, the newbies in the business who already have, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars on the books and a successful business. That's important to this industry as well. So, and the point Jen made about the references, I'm going to reiterate that. That's another thing that distinguishes Travel Weekly's programs from others. It may seem uh, unfair to some people that we're asking for references. It's only a validation of how strong a business professional you are. And we just need to make that validation happen for the suppliers so that we can stand by our investment to all of you. So I think it's important to just get the best reference you can and uh, get approved for the host agent program. Okay, Sandy. Fantastic. Uh, we have a question from Anita about whether there's an extra charge for the CLIA classes or any of the classes that you're offering or sessions. Good question, Anita. No, there is not. Um, but the difference with the CLIA program now, and I just want to um, <clears throat> emphasize this, is CLIA no longer does the testing on site. So it used to be that you would sit through the class, <clears throat> excuse me, you would do the test, and you'd be finished. They no longer do it that way. They give you online access to the test, so um, we don't control that piece of it. But to sit and attend the classes, no, there is not an additional charge to sit and attend the classes. Okay, excellent. And uh, are there website addresses where agents can go to either see this information again or to learn more about both Cruise World in general and the hosted agent program? Yep, yeah. I'm going to bring back up that website, and then maybe we can talk about this too, Jen. Go ahead. you want to comment? I, this is Alicia. What I was oh. going to say is, yes, the, the information is on the website, and we're also going to work on getting this PowerPoint presentation on the website as well. So just give us a day to, um, to convert the file and get it up to the website. But everything is online, and you could email Jen directly if you have specific questions that, that aren't answered on the website. Okay, fantastic. And uh, we've had a question about meal functions. Other than the um, ones that you mentioned, are there any meal functions included? Are the general Great. sessions meal functions? Great yeah. question. You know, we undersell that, Alicia. We should go ahead and tell them that story. We do. It's fantastic. <laughs> we feed you. We feed you a lot of food. 
<laughs> we have, so the, the main two days of the conference are, are really the Thursday and Friday. We open up on Wednesday, 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 Thursday, Friday. So there is a plate at breakfast and lunch on both Wednesday, or I'm sorry, on Thursday and Friday. On Thursday, there is a cocktail reception. So yeah, so you will be fed during for the duration of the conference. And on Wednesday, there's some drinks at the think tank too. Just you know, yeah. little, a little okay. treat at the end of a very yeah, long business. Pat, I would just just something else that is so unique about Cruise World is is the think tank. And if you wouldn't mind just giving us the thirty, giving the group a thirty second overview on it. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I find it to be so incredibly valuable and probably the best pure travel agent pure event that I've attended in my career. Sure, I'd be happy to. And if Joni's on, I'm going to have her chime in after. It, it to me, it's probably the most fun I have as a professional in this business every year. And I learned so much during it. But the first year that we did it, Joni and I, um, it was the first year that Travel Weekly ran this event. And we just wanted to do something different. And a, and a colleague of ours recommended we try something like this, a little bit more dynamic. And we got a couple hundred agents in the room, which we weren't expecting because it was kind of an after hours event. And we just throw out topics. And we kind of have a free for all conversation in the beginning. And what it turns into is a very much a peer sharing moment where you have some folks who've had tremendous success in social media and they'll say, well, you know what I did? I did this. And then another agent will raise their hand and say, but I don't understand. How can you fix that? Or how do you take credit cards? What do you do about insurance payments? Um, the, the, the conversation runs the gamut. And it, it's just fascinating to hear people. And people always will ask, what's the best app you downloaded this year? And people are furiously writing notes. You know, what's the best program you added to your computer this year? What's the best service you bought this year? And the, the sharing is phenomenal, and it's fun and engaging. And like I said, it's a chance for you guys to talk instead of just listening. Joni, are you on? Is there anything you want to yeah, share? Yeah, I do. I think it's really important, Mary Pat, that and it's probably the most one of the most important things you didn't mention is that we don't wear shoes in there. <laughs> we actually don't wear shoes, folks. Um, we, we have all been walking, all of us, you know, you as well, spend a lot of time on your feet during the show. So, and Mary Pat and I kind of do a lot of running at these things. So we take our shoes off, which may not necessarily be a good thing, kind of depends, but we do it because we want to get comfortable and we see other people do it as well because it's really all about getting comfortable. So I have to tell a quick story last year, um, and we were really honored that um, that Vicki Freed wanted to come in and watch it because she'd heard so much about the think tank. So we normally don't have suppliers in the room because we kind of, it's a place where we can all share. And she came in and, and you know, took a look at what was going on and she immediately took off her high heels. So I thought that was like probably one of the best things that happened that evening. But you're right, Mary Pat, it is it is an open place to share. It reminds me a lot of our travel professional community where, you know, people can just ask questions of other professionals and network with one another and uh, and do it in a place where they feel comfortable. So it's my, my favorite thing too, Mary Pat. So I'm looking forward to it. And you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that it's like you because the first year we did it, that's what I said to Joni. This is like bringing to life the chats and conversations that happen in the travel professional community. Because what, when, when Joni and Tom started those, those boards and the conversations that were going on were so cool. And you guys are really doing business in that forum. And so this really is sort of, if you think about it, for those of you that are familiar with the community and the conversations that go on there, this is sort of a 3D version of it. And um, the barefoot part, just to explain that a little bit, Rob Fixmer, who's the editor of Travel Weekly, was at the first think tank. And when Joni and I were we walked in and we'd been working so hard all day. We both took our heels off and started running around the room with the microphones. And Rob published in Travel Weekly the Barefoot Think Tank, and it kind of just stuck. So five years later, Joni and I are still taking our shoes off, but it is fun. So that's the basics of the think tank. All right, Sandy, we're ready. Okay, we have a question for agents who are not part of the hosted agent programs. Are, a program are there hotel discounts, uh, show discounts, and uh, other kinds of things that they can take advantage of? Yes, absolutely. Um, the, well, the hotel rates are published on the, the Cruise World website, which is up here on the screen for all of you, um, and they are discounted rates for our attendees, so absolutely there are rates there available to you. And I believe we have a code, Joni, for your community, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, if I'm allowed to give that out here today, I'd be happy to. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, we do have a code, um, and it's HBTA, just the letters home-based travel agent, but just the letters HBTA, and that will get you a discount as well. Okay, great. Thank you, Joni. I, I, we should have had that on the slide, but Joni and Tom have been huge supporters all along, so 
Um, we'd love to have more and more of you from the community join us. So absolutely, please use that code. And folks, we, what I don't want to do is in any way, I know Jen said she'd rather say why not join the hosted agent program, but I totally get it when people want control of their schedule. They don't want to have to, you know, we take this very seriously. If you sign up for the hosted agent program, we are going to make sure you show up for your appointments. You know, it's professional courtesy on both sides. We are going to make sure you show up for every meeting, every breakfast, every event. We'd obviously like everyone that registers to do that, but we understand some people would like a little bit more flexibility. And so the, the full registration, conference registration, still in, in, engages you in every other element of this program. All the and meals are inc included, everything. Go ahead, Joan. Um, yeah, and Mary Pat, I think that's an important point, too. It's not just, you know, the hosted agent program isn't for everyone. You know, and as you just said, Mary Pat, it is a time commitment. So if you're going to commit to being, if you are accepted into the program, we do expect a commitment. And, and not everybody can give that commitment. Some people can come in just for a day and a half. Some agents, you know, prefer a little bit more of a flexible schedule where they, you know, it may have to step out for an hour or they may not want the appointment. So, you know, I just want to reiterate that the hosted agent program is a great program, but we still do have a lot of agents who are registering on their own, and that's also a great option as well. Yeah, we're really, really trending right now uh, very even between the registration program and applications for the hosted agent program. So clearly that was our goal, was to provide both options to the agency community, and it seems to have been the right decision. So, so far we're pretty happy with this. Okay, I let's see. You know, we're uh, coming to sort of the end of the questions. I want to urge everybody listening to this call, if you have a question, to write it in now to the question area, and we will see if we can get it answered. Okay. Um, Do we want to give away our prize then, Sandy, or are we? Yeah, we. I just want to. Um, uh, a couple of questions about more information about the hosted agent programs, specifics about what's covered and what and whatnot. Do we want to, Jen, maybe go through the beginning slides one more time? And we'll just show you guys. I'll bring them up so everybody can see them. And you get to see all the smiling faces as we go through. Um, we'll just bring up the, the specifics of the hosted agent program. Sorry, folks. My computer is moving slow here. Here we go. So you get, um, no, it's the next slide, Jen. It's the what? Go ahead, Jen. You want to go through these bullet points one more time? Well, what's included in the hosted agent program is a complimentary registration to the event with full access. Um, and two nights hotel, I don't know if you want to flip the slide back down one, uh, two nights hotel at one of these three participating um, hotels, the, the Hilton, the Westin, or the Sheridan. And then what we do is we compile for you a personalized schedule of one-on-one -on -one meetings with supplier partners who are really looking to foster and help develop your growth potential. Great. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. And folks, we will get this PowerPoint up on the website. And, uh, and also, I it. urge everyone who has additional questions, specific questions about the hosted agent program to uh, get in touch with Mary Pat or uh, this um, I'm going to say Jen. OK, Jen. Yeah, you can, you, you can email me. Yeah, <laughs> you can email me. My, my uh, email address is right up on the screen right there now. <laughs> or you can um, give me a shout by phone, too. You guys can certainly email me, but Jen will probably have better answers than me. But you're welcome to email me as well. If you need to reach me, I'm travelmp at AOL.com. I know I still have an AOL address. Everybody makes fun of me, but what can I tell you? Anyway, can so these are our contact information. In the hosted agent program, how do agents get assigned to one-on-one -on -one appointments? Do they choose which suppliers they want to meet with, and how many appointments do they get? OK. Who wants to take that question? Alicia? I'll take it. Oh, you want to take it, Alicia? Ahead. OK. Go ahead. Um, Okay, like in early October, what we do is we send a special link to all of the agents who are accepted into the hosted program. The hosted agents will then visit um, a technology platform through that link. And what it does, it asks them to complete a brief profile of their business, uh, details of their anticipated goals while attending at Cruise World, anything that you would like to put up there as representation of what your goal is you know, to be at Cruise World in the hosted agent program and what you would tend to take away from it. Then you are asked to rank all of the available supplier partners in order of preference. So if you want to meet with Carnival the most, you rank them one. If you want to meet with Uniworld number two, you rank them number two, and so on and so on and so on. And then the program works with magic, and it factors uh, the overall schedule. Obviously, everybody can't meet with the same supplier at the same time. Um, so it factors the overall schedule, the supplier availability, and then it produces an agenda for each agent. The number of appointments is, is still kind of fluid because, you know, the numbers are, are not quite solid yet. We're 
bringing new suppliers in every day and we're confirming new hosted agents in every day. So the exact amount is really going to be dependent upon, you know, what, what the program capacity looks like and how many suppliers are on site at the time. But we're looking at targeting between five and ten appointments per agent that will last between five and ten minutes each. Um, this is strategic because we want to both uh, provide the opportunity to have these one-on-one -on -one meetings, but we also understand that everybody, in, and you want to meet with more than just five to ten suppliers, so we want to give you enough free time during the exhibit hall hours to visit other agents that maybe didn't make your meeting agenda. Okay. I hope that answers the question for everyone. That's great information. And um, I think we're about ready for one of the most exciting parts of this presentation, Mary Pat. All right, so Sandy, I will um, let you, you have the question, you want to ask it, and then when you, while we're waiting for the answers, we're going to well, talk about the Facebook page, or you want me to ask it? I okay, um, just <laughs> Mary, Mary Pat's going to ask a question, and the first 10 correct answers that I see on my screen are the ones who are going to win a free registration to Cruise World, so I'm going to be writing down the names furiously, and I'll come back on the line when I have them all written down, great. so take it away, Mary Pat. All right, great, guys, and we want all of you there, so um, if you don't win a free registration, please use the discount code, apply for the HAP program, be a part of Cruise World, because we want to prove to the, to the entire industry that this is the best organization of people in this business, professionals, and, and we're going to have a lot of fun together and learn together, so join us in November. The question is, who are the three CEOs that will be taking the stage on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and addressing you directly? What are the names of the three CEOs that will be joining us at Cruise World Live? Okay, and while you guys are answering, um, we just wanted to make sure you had information on our Cruise World Facebook page, um, really active Facebook page. The Cruise World, uh, Facebook.com slash Cruise World Show is the general page accessible by anyone who wants to learn a little bit more about Cruise World. There's cool um, photos and images from last year's event. There's dialogue going on about the conversations that will happen at Cruise World. Um, it's a chance to talk to your peers, similar to what all of you are used to doing in the community now. So we'd love to have you engage and um, follow us on Facebook at, at facebook.com says Cruise World Show. The other page on the right-hand side is for our Accepted Hosted Agent Program. This is a, a, a Facebook group. As I said, we're going to have a Facebook group session during Cruise World this year. But um, this group is so dynamic and active and involved, and Jen is really the leader of this group. She's great about posting comments and questions and getting everybody kind of to know each other. Because many of you joining this business, joining the show, maybe coming by yourself, don't have colleagues, don't know people in the industry yet, um, this is a chance to get to know some people before you get there. We already have people making dinner plans for Tuesday night, Wednesday night. That's great. That's why we leave you some free time, so you can network with your new friends and colleagues. So. We recommend that any of you that end up in the Hosted Agent Program join this Facebook group as well. So, Jen, anything you want to share about that? No, I mean, it's just we're having a lot of fun in there. Like you said, people are making dinner arrangements. There's a couple of people who are arranging, like, a, a drive down together from Orlando. Um, you know, but it goes beyond that. You know, we're sharing product information. We're sharing, um, you know, who's the best supplier for this or for that. So it's actually, it's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice forum. Everyone plays as well in the sandbox. So it's uh, <laughs> It's a lot of fun. It's a great resource, too. It's easier for me to, sh you know, shoot out information when people are asking about hotel assignments or program specifics. You know, they can just shoot it out in the group, and then everyone gets the benefit from the sharing of that information as opposed to just an individual email. Yeah, it's, it's really fun, and, and it does um, take a few minutes here and there out of my day to enjoy the conversation, too, so I really appreciate it. I'm on there a good bit myself. So, um, All right, Sandy, how do we do? Okay, do we, we have winners have yet? Winners, Mary. Excellent. We have winners. We have, and these are the first ten that I saw. Remember, the question was, who are the CEOs who will be there? And they are Arnold Donald, Adam Goldstein, and Kevin Sheehan. And these are the people that have won a free registration. If I read your name, remember that I will be providing your name to Mary Pat and your email, and she will get in touch with you about your free registration. So the ten winners are. Let me make sure I have ten here. Okay, Kathy McConnell. Michelle Homan, Lori McDonald, Kim Metalberg, John Jang, Craig Van Doren, Laura Shell Williams, Myra Eskew, Roy Ephraim, and Teresa Russell. So congratulations to all ten of you, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Cruise World. We better see you guys at Cruise World. Come on, come for free. No, we hope to see all of you there, I, and, and I love – don't take this personally, guys, but I love that I didn't recognize any of those names. So I hope to get to be to know all of you at Cruise World this year. So that's great. Thank you, Sandy, for that. 
You're welcome. And I want to thank all of you ladies who have uh, done this wonderful webinar. 